Hello, and welcome to another session on using the new Blender for video editing. Today is an introduction to mask modifiers, which is a way for you to control what parts of your video or effects strips are visible or hidden. So before we go any further, I want to point out that we're not talking about masks at this point. Uh, masks are a very powerful feature in Blender that you can use to create all sorts of uh, special effects and you create them by going into the movie clip editor. Today we're just talking about mask modifiers and the way we'll use them is we will just create a color strip inside of our video sequence editor and apply it to one of our strips. The idea of what we're about to do is similar to the real life example of using masking tape or painter's tape to put a border around the area that you want to paint. So let's get started. Right now I have two video strips loaded in the video sequence editor. The first one is this video which has a lot of orange on it right here and underneath it is another video. It's a clip from the spring short film. What we're going to do is we are going to apply a mask modifier to this top strip so that only portions of it are visible and we will be able to see the uh, second video underneath. So to get started I'm going to just put my time cursor over here and I will go to add color. Now the important thing to know when it comes to using strips as mask modifiers is that anywhere within the strip that is black it will be completely transparent see-through, invisible, whereas anything that is white will be, uh, will just look as normal. It'll be visible, totally opaque. So let's start by changing this color strip to white. And then um, just for the first simple demonstration, I'm going to shift it off over to the right a bit. I'm just going to use the position X transform and just move it over like this. Okay, so now we have it's a strip that is mostly white, but then there's a chunk missing here. Now the next step is to apply the mask modifier. So to do that, we select the strip that we want to give the, a mask modifier to, and then over along the right side, over on here, we click on the modifiers tab. And now we can click on add strip modifier and choose mask. Once we do that, we have this panel open and it's already set up to use strip by default. So all we need to do now is click on this empty space that says mask and it gives us this selection and we just pick the strip we want to use as the mask. So it is the color strip, so we go ahead and pick that and that's done. The mask modifier is now in place. The time cursor is right on that color strip so we can't see anything. Let's just click over here and there you go. Now you can see that only the part of our video strip that had the white where the the color strip was still white is visible and, and this part here is not. We can't see what's underneath of course because we didn't set up the blend yet. So let's go back to the strip tab of our video strip and change blend to something like overdrop. There you go. So now if I hit the play button, you can see that we can see both strips and only the part of the top strip that was that's still showing as white for the color. So after playing that, uh, two things were very apparent, right? Number one is that the color strip we're using has a very short duration it doesn't have the same length as the strip we're applying it to, and that doesn't matter. Uh, that's actually something we will take advantage of in our next video on transitions. The other thing is that it's very uh, distracting and, and ugly to see that the color strip is still there when we play it back. We can hide this color strip and it will still work as a mask modifier. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'll just click this checkbox, turn that off, and there you go. The mask modifier is still in effect 
And that's really all there is to say about that. Now, of course, with it being hidden now, it makes it harder to make changes to it. So let's turn it back on because there's a few more things I want to talk about. So the first being that uh, we can do more than just um, changing the position. Of course, we can also use crop as well. So not only can we do something like change where it starts from the, the bottom left, but we can also use crop and then get rid of some from the right side and the top as well. So now if I go back up and turn that off, then we can see we now have sort of like a ordered effect. Oh, except what's going on there. Something's not right, but maybe this is just uh, a refresh that is required. I don't know where the button is for that, but if you press Control R on your keyboard, there you go. Sometimes you just need to hit that refresh and then uh, Blender will, will fix itself. So there you go. Now that we've changed our strip, our mask modifier strip, so we changed the offset, we also added some crops. Now we get a different kind of view into the strip that we're applying it to. Now, another thing to mention is that so far we've only been talking about black and white, right? Of course, we have a range. It's not just black or white. We can use any of the values in between. And when you do that, it's sort of like when you rub a piece of fried chicken onto a piece of paper and then you can kind of see through it, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not even going to turn the color strip back on. I'm just going to click on this slider and bring it down. And by doing so, and control R to refresh, there we go. Now you can see we can also control the transparency of it. Now at this point you might be thinking, that's all nice, but we could have just as easily did all of this to the video strip itself and we'd get the same result. And that is true, but, if, but this is just a simple demo to start. Let's do something that you can't do with those simple tools. I am going to start by deleting this and we'll do something from scratch. We're going to add a color strip right here, and then we're going to duplicate it by just pressing the capital D. And I will press Y to lock in a position and then release. And now here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this up so that we have a white border and black on the inside. That way, the border of the video will be visible and what's in the middle is see-through. So let's go ahead and do that now. So that means that we need this top strip to stay black. It's the bottom strip that we have to make white. And now I'll just go to the black strip and I will change it, the position and the crop so that we have basically a black window. And I also need to change the blend to overdrop so we can see through. There we go. But we have a bit of a problem because if we wanted to apply this as a modifier, we can't. We cannot apply both of them. We can only apply one. So the fix is easy. It's just to create a, a meta strip out of the two color strips. So we can just select both strips and you can go to strip and choose the make meta strip option or just press control G. There you go. So now we can go to our video, click on the mask, choose meta strip. Now that we're done with that, we can go back to here and hide it and hit the play button. So I hope you liked that. If you did, please do give it a like and subscribe so you can see more content when it comes. Thanks and bye now.